Welcome everybody, John here with Contraboom with another tutorial on Archicad. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Element ID Manager, which you can find under your listing extras under Document. And it's this Element ID Manager right here is what we're going to be talking about today. Now, I uh, recently found this tool. I actually didn't even realize it was there for the longest time, but it can actually be a really... A uh, powerful tool for quickly renaming um, your element IDs. If you have a lot of uh, similar elements that you just want to be uh, renamed in a logical order. So there's different rules that we can set up. And in today's tutorial example, we are going to be talking specifically about creating coordinates for our specific grid intersections on this project. So um, we're going to try to quickly create uh, these coordinates that we can uh, essentially use as layout points to uh, stake out in the field and uh, we'll do so using this element ID manager. So I'm going to go back to 2D right now and we'll just look at this uh, project um, filter just for our grids and now the manual way of doing this would be to actually just take um, our coordinates and we could just copy them over and if we wanted to manually change these we would have to go in and just change them individually. Um, but I'm going to actually undo that and we'll just start with just a few here and I'll show you kind of the workflow for how we can use this element ID manager to rename these three individual grids. And one thing to really uh, notice is the order in which you select the grids does make a difference and the order in which these, uh, these elements are created does make a difference in how it does the numbering. But we'll look at that here in just a moment. So again, up under uh, our document, listing extras is where you'll find this element ID manager and let's go in and let's check out the settings right now so um, we already have our um, on our left here we have available criteria and we've already gone through and selected our element ID that's really the only one that we're going to be using today and under our ID format this is where we go in and we can actually set the uh, parameters of um, what's going to be renamed. So um, we have a few different types of uh, um, parameters that we can uh, assign to each of these different uh, coordinates in this case. And so we, we, uh, we either have text or counter, or if you don't want to use it, you just go to not used. But in this case, we're going to start with the text. And I'm going to actually set this to number of characters being four, because I'm going to actually type uh, just grid as the first four or first four uh, characters of this string. So, um, so we're good on that first section there, and let's move on to our second. And I'm actually going to set this in this case because I'm I'm looking at this. I want to do grid, and then I actually want to have a space in here, and then we're going to do a, and then we're going to do the counter as the uh, the last two digits. So, um, in this case, I'm going to set this to text, and I'm actually going to give it a space. I'm just going to delete that. Give it a space. And then I'm going to punch in A. So down here under our preview, we can see we got a grid, space, and then A. And so we actually want to add the counter as being our third uh, section here. And I'm going to give it a two characters. And I'm just going to start with 0, 1 as our starting um, sequence. So um, when we go to change IDs, we can, we can see it actually gives us a little preview of what it's going to be changing. And we can see that's grid A01, 02, 03. And if we hit OK, we can see that those changed um, just how we wanted them to actually change. Um, but I'm just going to show you real quickly, um, if I undo that real quick, if we actually change the sequence in which we select these coordinates, and we go back through and we just redo that same thing, you'll see that it actually reversed the process. So we went from one, two, and three in the order that we had selected those. And just one more time, just to show you how that worked, we could even switch up our order here and go from one to three to two. And you'll see that this renames it in the order that we selected. So one, two, and three. So I'm going to re undo this again. And um, if you do a selection around this to actually pick those up, then it seems to work in the order that you create the elements. So once again, I'm going to go back in, change those IDs, and you'll see that it went from one to two to three. So, okay, so at this point, we have that working essentially how we want it to. And we can take this, uh, this third one here, and I'm actually going to do a multiply with an increment and spread. And so I'm just going to set it my increments here of 18 feet is my grid line spacing. 
and we'll pull this all the way across and I will close this out to our grid 27 right there and uh, I'm just going to come back to my starting point here and I'm going to do a selection around all of these coordinates that we just created and we'll go back in and hopefully if our settings are working correctly we can change these IDs and it looks like it's going to preview all the way through 27 and okay so there we go we got it all the way and so at this point um, we can pretty much uh, just cruise right through this and I'm going to rename all of these with B and we'll change these IDs and um, so that looks good we'll just double check by coming all the way over to our first one, few here and so we're looking pretty good there so yeah at this point we can just uh, go through quickly rename our uh, our formula essentially in our element ID manager just to reflect our um, our uh, grid intersections at each one of these and we'll close this out to grid line D and so you can see how quick this um, this uh, element ID manager can be for changing a number of different um, element IDs and do so in a logical format that um, really can save you a lot of time this to go through and to, to rename all of these manually that probably would have taken me I don't know maybe five or ten minutes but you can see by using this element ID manager we can quickly just rename all these grids and uh, do so in a very uh, clean uh, predictable uh, format so um, so that pretty much concludes what I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you enjoyed um, this and uh, hopefully you can find some uses for the element ID manager I certainly have and uh, I've even added it to my uh, my standard um, uh, toolbar up here because I'm starting to use it more and more these days. There's a, there's a lot of interesting uses for just renaming um, element IDs to really sequence out specific um, uh, namings and um, element uh, orders. So, okay, so with that, um, we'll pretty much end this video. Uh, you can see that these grids are also already uh, listed here under my, uh, my layout schedule for my project controls. And so I could then just take this, export it out to Excel, save it as a CSV, and uh, load that up into a total station. So, okay, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos just like this coming your way. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.